What's up, my guys? We're back. We had an epic day yesterday. Epic. You know, we complain a lot about Missouri weather and all, but boy, it's hard to complain when I think it's 45 degrees and it's 10 o'clock. It does not, you can't ask for any more. We're just trying to get some more footage, you know. Fish, stay on fish. We're throwing back all the big ones. Always do that. So, rigging. We will be doing lots of rigging. Catch you fools out there. Oh, that was scary. Thought I broke my sunglasses. But I didn't. Hey, bro, white bass or something. This is what we're fishing. Fishing this bluegrass again. We found out it works, so why would we change? Be silly. <laughs> Smell like a piece of freaking garlic bread up here all the time. Hey, fish. Get him. No. We're finding all these big beds, brush piles that people have put out here on this track we're trolling. So everyone, every giant one we go over, we're marking so we can fish this summer. Put my other hoodie back on. <laughs> That's a flap. That's a flap. Wow. Keep blowing, wind. Right about this moment here, the weather took a turn for the worse. It got cloudy, windy, and cold. Like, I was freezing. Hot hands came out. We hid behind a bluff. So, fishing got tough, but we get on some fish, so don't you worry. Keep watching. Shallow. Good. Oh, you kidding me? That was a fish. Right in the screen. Yeah, and it's like. Oh, there he is. That's a. Sl oh my God. He's on there. So right now at this point, you guys are probably thinking, why do I even watch this kid's YouTube videos? He's the biggest freaking moron there is. So I had a fish pull down my inside rod, set the hook, and it was a tree. Just five seconds later, fish pulls down my second rod, so I set the hook. He's on there, but those 14 foot rods are too flimsy to horse any fish out of any sort of cover. So, um... I just worked him, worked him over. It took me about five minutes to get that fish out, but I knew he was on there. Every once in a while, I'd feel him tug, and eventually I got him out. So when you get hung up like that, just try and reel your rod tip down, try and slowly pull all ways, just try a little bit of everything. He'll come out, he'll get out of there. If you know he's on there, he's probably on there. So keep watching. We get into some. What in the f I'm joking. <laughs> Ow. That's a good one too. Big one. 
Big one. <laughs> that could have been bad. <laughs> For real. Oh, that should be pretty good. And that's a white bass today. Oh, giant white bass. What? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Looks like we know what's in here. <laughs> that was a good one. Look where he's hooked. Yeah, let's just put him back in there. Just put it back in the water. Alright guys, so we have been marking a ton of stuff. Like ridiculous. And we just fished this spot yesterday, so I was I don't know. I asked Bailey, I said, I don't know that. We, uh, all this was here yesterday. Is that all shad? And here we go. That's a perfect shad. Woohoo! What if we just start plucking out fish? <laughs> I don't see that happening, but, you know, you never know. With all these freaking shad. I mean, how's a crappie supposed to find your lure when you're fishing in a mess of 7,000 shad in one tiny little area of water but we're gonna call it a wrap and I think we probably ended up with 20 fish it was slow but big cold front pushed in but it's a fun day had a good day better than sitting at home or working so from Missouri Truman Lake Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Thanks for watching guys. There at the end of the video, we were on so many shacks. When there's that much bait around you, you should probably move because what are the odds of the fish when there's that much food for them around? That'd be like you walking into the supermarket and picking out one thing, just one little thing. So it's best to go find a place where there's not a congregation of shad, but today's the Super Bowl. I'm not sure how to feel. Um, I have an absolute hatred for New England Patriots. I hate them. Hate. Capital H-A-T-E. Um, but then again, why would I want Philly to win? They're in my division. They're in the, they play the Cowboys. So we're going to root for Philly just because I don't want to see the New England Patriots ever win again. So you guys have fun. Watch the Super Bowl. Stay safe. If you're around me in the Midwest, there's probably going to be some snow on the ground, so be careful with your traveling. And thank you guys for tuning in. Catch you next video.